So hello everyone, welcome back to our aptitude sessions and today we'll be, start, uh, we'll be starting with a new topic called as arrangements. So what exactly is an arrangement? It is nothing but the way of placing the given objects or given set of objects in a particular order as mentioned in the question. All right. So similar to your puzzle test, the order will be given to you in a uh, you know, in a tricky format or in the form of a riddle or something like that. So you will have to take those indirect clues and then deduce the direct clues from them. Okay. So there are two kinds of arrangements that you can find. One is linear sequencing or linear arrangement. The other is circular arrangement. So when we talk about linear arrangements, what exactly we have is the order or the position, what comes after what will matter a lot. So when we tell about linear arrangements, don't stick yourself to the thought that we are only talking about people. Most of the times, yes, it is about people, but there are certain times where you can have some other objects as well. Okay. So with that, let us start with our first question. So today we will be dealing with linear sequencing and our question for today. Yeah, the first question, seven of them, Paul, Queen, Rats. Sam, Tom, Yunif, and Wally are sitting in a row facing us. Rax and Sam sit next to each other. There must be exactly four of them between Queen and Wally. Sam sits to the immediate right of Queen. So if you remember in puzzle test, I have told you whenever they mention right and left or next to one person, it is our right and our left until and unless it is mentioned. So here in this question, they have mentioned sitting in a row facing us. So when they are facing us, it will all be opposite. Whenever they mention it is their right, it should be our left or vice versa. When they mention it is their left, it should be our right. That is how we take it. So you will know that once we start solving the questions. Let's Ma, tell you this much. Yeah. According to the question, I got one series mark. I don't mm. know if it's correct or wrong. Can I see that mark? Yeah, tell me. Oh, in the four in the second place we have Bali. Okay. And in fifth, six, seven we have Rax, Sam, and Queen. Okay, you have Rax, Sam, and Queen. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. And according to the second sub question, mm -hmm. we'll get Tom in the first place. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, that depends on the sub questions. It will keep changing mm -hmm. as question to question. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so fine. Uh, before that, I uh, yeah, you are right, Sahana, but let me explain it to everybody as to how we have reached up in this level. So let's start solving. So what have they told? Rax and Sam sit next to each other. So if you have Rax and you have Sam, they should always go together. It is always R, S or even S, R. We will come to know in the next part. So Sam sits to the immediate right of Queen. So immediate left of queen, you're supposed to have Sam. So this is Sam. Okay. So you're supposed to have on the other side. This much is clear with everyone. If I yes, considered S comma R, I will not be able to see queen over here. Fine. So this is completely ruled out. Next, there should be exactly four of them between queen and one. So you have one, two, another slot, three, and another slot, four. After that, you're supposed to have one. Now, what about the others? So you already have four, five, six. You need one more person, the seventh person. That seven person could be here or here. We are not sure. This entirely depends on the sub questions given. As per the main question, this is the information that we have. Okay. Yeah. So is everybody clear to hear? Yes, ma'am. Right. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we'll move to the next one. So in the first sub question, they have asked. If Paul and Tom, if they are separated exactly by two people, then who sits to the immediate left of Wally? So what do we have? We have Wally. 
we have two spaces followed by racks, Sam and Queen. So racks, Sam, Queen. Okay, so we need Tom, uh, Paul and Tom are separated exactly by two people. So the only option that you have, if you choose here, this position, and anywhere else over here, you will not get exactly two. You will get exactly three. One, two, three. And only over here, you can add T slash P. That is Tom or Paul. So this option is ruled out. So the only option is one, two. Over here, you could have Tom or Paul. So if you have Tom in this place, you should have Paul in this place. If you have Paul over there, you're supposed to have Tom over here. So in that case, who is left out? Unit. So you're having exactly two spaces between Tom and Paul. Two people in between Tom and Paul. I hope this is clear. It's not confusing now. Yeah. Yes, okay. ma'am. So what is the answer? So who sits to the immediate left of Wali? Who's sitting to the left? That is to your right. Unit. Unit. So the answer is option C, unit. Fine. All of you are clear till here? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So we'll move to the next question. If queen is not sitting at either extremes of the row, who among the following has many persons on his left as on his right? So what have they told? They have given as Wali. We are given with two spaces. We have Rax, Sam, and Queen. And they have told Queen is not to any of the extremes. Not sitting at either extremes. So there should be somebody after Queen on this side. Only then it means that Queen is not at the extreme end. If you put it here, like the previous example, Queen would be at the extreme end. Okay, so in this case, somebody is here. T, P, F. I mean, sorry, TPU, one among them, that's Tom, Paul, or Uni. Same way, TPU, Tom, Paul, Unit. It could be any one among them. We have no idea who it is. But what is the question? Who among them has uh, many persons on his left as on his right? So this means that they should have equal number of people to their left as well as to their right. Yes. Yeah. So if you cancel this, you cancel Wali, you cancel Queen, you cancel this place, you ca cancel uh, Sam, you cancel out this. So who is the person who is sitting in between? Rax. So he has three people to his left and three people to his right. So the answer is option C, Rax. Is everyone fine with this answer? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so we'll move to the next one. Yeah. So the question is, if queen sits at one extreme, who sits in the other extreme? Okay, so they have asked Wali. They have given us two spaces. Rax, Sam, queen. So queen is on one of the extreme. So somebody should be on, the, on this side because you cannot have on this side of queen. So three spaces are left. Correct. Four plus three, seven. So who sits in the other extreme? Who is it? Not be determined. No, cannot determine. All of you are convinced cannot be determined. We don't know who is at this extreme. It could be anybody here. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the correct answer is option D, cannot determine. Fine, no confusion still here? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. So moving to the next one, Tom sits to the right of Queen. Paul is separated from Tom by exactly three persons. Then who is seated to the immediate left of Wali? Okay, so we have Wali, we have two spaces, Rax, Sam, Queen. Okay, and Tom sits to the right of Queen, that is to your left. So Queen should be to the left of you. Tom should be seated in such a way, Tom and towards your left side after Tom should be queen. Right? Yeah. So sits to the right of queen. So it should be your left. Basically, you're supposed to add to your right. 
Tom should be added to your right. Only then Tom is sitting to the right of Queen. Fine. To the right of Queen. Yes, this is Queen and this side. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Paul is separated from Tom by exactly three people. So Paul is separated from Tom by one, two, three. Right. So you're supposed to have Paul here. You're supposed to have Yunif here. Then who is seated to the immediate left of Bali? So who's seated to your right? Yunif. Yunif. Right. So no confusion still here? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. So we'll move to the next question. In how many different ways can these seven people sit in a row? So they have already given Vali. Two blank spaces you have. You have Rax, Sam and Queen. Now for this you have two ways of arranging. Okay. So you have Rax, Sam and Queen. One is to add somebody to the other side of Vali. The other is to add somebody to the other side of queen. So you have three people and these three people can sit in six different ways. You can give it a try for yourself. You can add at one place Tom, Paul, Unit. Keep shifting each of their places and see all the combinations. From here you will get six different seating arrangements. All right. Well, yeah, the total is 12 because here you will get 6, here also you will get 6. So put together, you will have 12. So the right answer is option D, 12. Is this clear with everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. How about others? Is it fine? Yes, ma'am. Okay, fine. So moving on to the next example in linear sequencing. Okay, we have seven boys, Rajan, Sham, uh, Vartan, Mitra, Vimal, Raj and Kishan. They are sitting in a row. Sham sits to the immediate left of Vardhan and third to the right of Rajan. Whereas Mitra who sits at the extreme left is next to Kishan. Okay, let's start from wow. here. Please. Yeah. Now they didn't mention facing Rajna ma'am. So now our right is right and the left is left. Side. Yes, the left and right, what they mention is as it is. Our right and left. Okay, ma'am. Yeah, so we'll start with Mitra because it is mentioned he sits to the extreme left. Okay, so that is easier for us to start with. So we'll go with Mitra. Mitra who sits at the extreme left. And he's sitting next to Kishan. So it's going to be Mitra and Kishan. Fine. Now they have told Sham sits to the immediate left of Vardhan and third to the right of Rajan. Okay, somewhere you have Sham and he is third to the right of Rajan. So this side you will have to put Rajan. So you have one, two and you have Rajan here. I will keep Rn for Rajan because we also have Raj where I will be mentioning Rj. So you have Sham, so 1, 2 and 3. So from Rajan, 1st, 2nd and 3rd. The 3rd position to the right of Rajan is Sham. I hope you are fine that this is your right side. So Rajan is on to the left side of Sham. Uh, they have not mentioned the 3 people in between them. They have told Sham is to the is a 3rd person after Rajan. So the 3rd person or the 3rd count after Rajan should be Sham. One, two, and three. Third count after Rajan. In the previous examples, they were telling between. Which means between them, you should have so many spaces. Here, they have mentioned that they are that at that particular position. Not in between them, there are three people or four people. Uh, Sahana, you had a doubt? Yes, ma'am. Can you please repeat it again, ma'am? Okay, you're fine with Mitra, I mean, Mitra and Kishan? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, so Mitra and Kishan is done. Now they have told Sham sits to the immediate left of Vardhan. Okay, let's keep that aside. Third to the right of Rajan. 
So you have Sham and Sham is third in right of Rajan. So if this is your right, Rajan is to the left of Sham because Sham is right of Rajan. So Rajan is left of Sham, Ulta. Okay, so you have Rajan and it should be third. Sham should be third. So you have after Rajan, you're supposed to have third place Sham should come in. So you have one, two and third place Sham comes. Third to the right. The position itself is third. After Rajan, you will start counting first, second, third. Okay, ma'am. Now Sham sits immediately left to the word. What that means now? Sham will be this side Sham will be there as it is. Your uh, Oh, okay. Yeah, you are right. Sham sits to the immediate left of Vardhan. Ah, Sham is to the left of Vardhan. Correct. So, Vardhan is to the right of Sham. Sham sits okay, then he left will be of Vardhan. So, if you put vice versa, Vardhan is to the right of Sham. Okay, ma'am. Sham is to the left. S is left of V. Reverse it. V is to the right of S. I got it, ma'am. Yeah. So I'll mention VA for Vardhan because VI for women. Okay. This much is clear with everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Fine. So this much we have taken care. Right. So whatever is given in the question, we have taken care. Two more people. Uh, no, three more people. So we have Vimal, Raj, and who else is left? Oh, yeah, four, one, two, three, four, five. Five of them are given. Two more people. So, Vimal and Raj, we still don't know. Okay? So, we'll uh, see. It will depend on the sub-questions. So, let's move to that. Who is sitting to the immediate right of Sham? So, what did we have? We have Mitra. We have Kishan. We have Rajan. After that, we have two spaces. We do not know who is who and what is what. Followed by Sham, followed by Vardhan. So they have asked right of Sham. This side is your right side. So who is sitting? Vardhan. Vardhan. Correct. So it's option D, Vardhan. Fine with everyone? This question? Yes, ma'am. Others? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So moving to the next one. If Vardhan and Kishan exchange places without changing the rest of the arrangement that is already done, who will sit to the immediate left of Rajan? Okay. So what was the initial order given? We have Mitra, Kishan, Rajan. Again Vardhan, ma'am. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's okay. solve the question. We'll come to know. We have Sham. We have Vardhan. So they've asked us who will change the places? Vardhan and Kishan. Without disturbing the rest. So you have Mitra, you have Vardhan, then you have Rajan, then you have two more places, you have Sham and Kishan. So now what have they asked? Who sits to the immediate left? Left of Rajan. This side is your left. You have Rajan. So who is who is it? Vardhan. Correct. It's option D Vardhan. It is okay even if you have more than one uh, question having the same answer as a correct answer. Do not worry, okay. it is not possible. As long as you're following the question and the order given in it, you are absolutely right about it. Okay? Yes. So moving to the next one. If only Shyam sits between Raj and Vardhan, who is exactly in the middle of the row. So they have given Mitra, they have given Kishan, Rajan, we do not know who these two are. We have Sham and Vardhan. Okay, now it's only Sham who is between Raj and Vardhan. So Raj, uh, so you have Vardhan, you have Sham. The only place you can fill for Raj is here because Sham has to come in between them. As mentioned, only Sham sits in between Raj and Vardhan. Yeah. So they have. Uh, so then this position is given to women. The only option is this. This is given to women. So who is in the middle of the row? So if you cut Mitra, Bimal. you cut Vardhan. Right. Rajan and Raj. 
So what's the answer? Option C, women. Hope you're right. It is women. Yes, ma'am. Yes. No doubts till here? No, ma'am. Others? No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Fine. Moving on to the next one. Which of the following cannot confirm the seating arrangement of all the boys? So what have they given? They have given Mitra, they have given Kishan, they have given Rajan. Two places pending. When they have given Sham, they have given Vardhan. Okay. So take the first option. Raj is to the immediate right of Rajan. So immediate right of Rajan. In that case, Raj is supposed to come here. Whereas Vimal is to the left of Sham. So the only place left and as per the arrangement is this. So with this, you get all the seven seatings arranged. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma so this gives you all this uh, seating arrangement of all the seven boys. So fine. Let's move to the next uh, option. Yeah, what have we told? Mitra and Raj have two people in between them. Mitra and Raj have two people. Ah, I think option C is not... Option C is the Ritma. Raj and Krishna have two places. Let's see, let's see. Let's see. We are, we are doing with option B. Mitra and Raj have two in between them. So Mitra, one, two. The next person is Raj. So in that case, the only option left for women is here. So with this, are you getting all the seven seating arrangements? Yes, ma'am. Yes, right. ma'am. Okay. Ma'am, I have a doubt. Yeah, tell me. Can't we, like, for the next option also, can't we proceed with the same arrangement? You can should proceed, we, but... The, yeah, you were asking... Should the arrangements change for every sub-question, ma'am? No, the uh, given uh, in the main question will be the same. After that, okay, it will, this blank spaces will completely depend on each sub-question because it was not mentioned in the main question. And all the sub questions depend on this main question. So main question okay, arrangements remain as it is. Okay. Yeah. So option C, Raj and Kishan have two in between them. So you have Kishan, you have one, two, you have you can place Raj here. In that case, this place goes to women according to C. So here are you getting all the seven boys arrangement? Yes or no? Yes, yes. ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. So, okay. Option D. Rajan and Sham have two people between them. You have Rajan, you have Sham. And, yeah, two people between them. It was uh, unknown even in the uh, you know, main question. Even in this option, it is unknown. So, according to this, are you getting this uh, seating arrangement of all the seven boys? Like before? Ma'am. But mm -hmm. I mentioned right, ma'am, Rajan and Sham, there we have two blanks. Two yeah, women can be fit into that blanks. Correct, but who is fitting where? This could be Rajan or women, this could be Rajan or women. Where will you put Rajan, where will you put women? Is that given to you exactly? Then in the before question also, between Raj and Kishan. Hmm. You should have two get... people. But from what is given Kishan, we already know Kishan's place. Hmm. So, one, two, and here you should have Raj. Because between okay. Raj and Kishan, you're supposed to have two people. Got it, so, in this case, you get Vimal's position here. You will get all the seven. But as yes, per option D, do you get all the seven? No, ma'am. Yeah, all of you are convinced that with option D, we are not getting all the seven seating arrangements clearly? Yes, ma'am. Ma okay, so which is your correct answer? Option, option D, D, because which cannot confirm. So this is your answer, option D. Yes, ma'am. All of you are convinced, no doubts in this? No, ma'am. Others? No doubt, ma'am, it's clear. No, ma'am. Okay. Fine. So moving on to the next uh, question that we have. Probably the last sub-question for today. After arranging all the boys as per the given condition. So let's take the, that is the given condition is main question. So you have Mitra, you have Kishan, you have Rajan. 
then you have two more species followed by sham followed by vardan okay as per this condition rajan exchange places with mitra okay so we have rajan here we have mitra here okay uh, and vardan exchange places with vimal okay fine so you have kishan we don't know vimal's place so somewhere here uh, vardan should come and here vimal will come so one of the place it is raj in the blank and in the other place it is vimal okay uh, how many will be there between vimal and rajan all right uh, if rajan exchange places only two ma'am so how many will be there between vimal and rajan right vimal and it can be two and one no ma'am how can we exactly predict only three or one Hmm, hmm. Let me check. I hope the question is correct. Yes, if Rajan exchanges places with Mitra and Vardhan with Vimal. Okay. So, hmm. What have they asked between Vimal and Rajan? Rajan, ma'am. It will be five. Right. So they have given here. Correct. You have Rajan here. Okay. Yeah. R and R J. Even I was confused. Right, Arun, Rajan, and Vimal. These two are given. So you have one, two, three, four, five. Clear? You got the yes, answer. Yes, All of you. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so the answer is option C, five. So okay. clear with all of you. You have no doubts. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. Everybody else? Uh, guys, unmute and answer so that I will know if you have any doubts or not. No doubts, ma'am. No doubt. Okay. Ma'am? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That uh, my right is the, uh, their left and their left is my right. Mm -hmm. Could you explain that again? Uh, you want me to explain the entire thing or? The concept the... means why? Just the concept. Yeah. See, they have told you. Uh... Okay, that is a question. Yes. So they have told you that they are sitting in a row facing us. Correct. You're seeing this sitting in a row facing us. So when they are facing us, everything is going to be ulta or opposite. So they have mentioned their right and left. Why have they given you this clue? It is because whenever they mention right, you have to take your left. Their right, the person who is sitting opposite to you, mirror reflection, their right is your left. And their uh, left is your right. Understand. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So, others, hope all of you are fine. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Uh, if so, then thank you so much for attending to this session. And let's meet up in the next uh, session. Yeah? Yes, ma'am.